Now, it's true that some of the world's most brilliant engineers have used their skills to help propel man into space and beyond. It's also true that even the smartest people on Earth use their talents to have a little fun every now and then. There's one aerospace engineer who deserves a lot of tanks for inventing new streams of amusement. His invention has created quite a splash while soaking up gallons of attention from the toy world. Here's Ali Ward to saturate us with the details. Water toys have always meant tons of summer fun. And this is the rocket scientist you can thank for engineering the toy capable of blasting supersized streams of water from pint-sized fingertips. Meet Lonnie Johnson, inventor of the Super Soaker. Lonnie Johnson nurtured his interest in mechanical engineering even before he knew it had a name. Lonnie earned advanced academic degrees in mechanical and nuclear engineering before a successful career with the U.S. Air Force and with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, where he was instrumental in work on the Galileo mission to Jupiter, the Mars Observer Project, and the early stages of the Cassini Project to Saturn. Yet, Lonnie still made time for personal experimentation. I was experimenting with some nozzles that I made in using water, and I thought, geez, why don't I develop a high-performance water gun? <laughs> The idea was to have something that a small kid could operate, be able to pressurize to very high pressure, so that high pressure would just force the water out, and so you wouldn't have to actuate continuously with your finger. I went to Atlanta, Georgia, where I met Lonnie in the offices of his own engineering company, Johnson Research and Development. When he started tinkering with the idea of a water toy, Lonnie says he thought it would be fun to have a patent. How many patents do you have? Uh, over a hundred patents. Over a hundred! So this is just a tiny fraction of them. There was some engineering involved in putting this whole thing together, but, you know, compared to a spacecraft, it's pretty simple. <laughs> oh, wow! We walk to the lab where these days Lonnie is focused on new rechargeable battery technology and thermodynamic energy conversion technologies. Another focus inspiring young inventors. Do you have any plans for this uh, prototype? Like, do you think that this should be under glass in a museum? I've had a couple of museums ask for it, but I like hope. <laughs> you know what, what, <laughs> you don't what, want to give it up. <laughs> what, you know, actually the reason when I go talk to kids and hold this thing up and have the, this one that resulted and actually went into production, mm -hmm. it makes it real because when I'm talking to kids, particularly for the robotics kids who are working and building things, it's like, okay, what you're doing now is powerful. Mm -hmm. It makes it real for them. You know I had to try it. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right. I'm all, I'm all fired <laughs> up. Here we go. <laughs> this is what you want to go in the battle with, right? <laughs> Now you, now you get it. You made a career out of this and spacecraft. Amazing. That's amazing. I love that some of your innovations are in my hand, shooting at a target, and some are orbiting in space right now. What can I say? All of the day's work. All of the day's work.